Hey everyone, it's Lockhart QT here today, and today I'll be covering everything we know so far, including the recent N7 Day 2023 official information from Bioware themselves regarding teasing where the next Mass Effect game could take place in the timeline and which time period it could take place in. So, let's get right into it. So I wanted to compile all of the evidence shown to us so far, not just from N7 Day 2023, but also 2020, 2021 and 2022, basically all of them put together as well as some other bits and bobs here and there. But starting off with the very recent additions from N7 Day 2023. During the hunt for the brand new teaser trailer we got, we were taken to different URLs with countdowns and different websites titled Epsilon, Oculon and Post Nebula. During the Epsilon encryption we got the following message, Andromeda distress signal detected. And then the Oculon encryption we got, Oculon 2819 Defiance. Now these bits of encryption code are significant because 2819 was the year that Andromeda's main story takes place in, 634 years after the events of Mass Effect 2. It, basically, the arcs leave during Mass Effect 2 and end up in Andromeda 634 years later, with presumably Liara encrypting data or somebody else encrypting this data that you can see on screen right now. Maybe it's even this brand new unknown character because it looks like they're dressed to steal something and maybe they've found an Andromeda distress signal. And of course, if they are finding a distress signal from Andromeda, then that kind of hints that the next game is perhaps set during Andromeda's timeline, 634 years in the future. I also wanted to touch on the brand new art piece we got, including a nightclub scene easter egg if you zoom all the way in. From N7 Day 2023, it looks like the concept art we can see a Raloi, which is a bird-like species. We don't see them in-game, but you can hear about them in codex writings and lore and other things. On screen right now is sort of an artist interpretation of what they look like. They're essentially a bird-like species that have cut off all main advancements with technology because they wanted to avoid the Reaper invasion. We also possibly see an Angara, who were a species that we meet in Mass Effect Andromeda, as well as a Turian that looks a lot like Garrus. If you look at the sort of armour, the colour scheme, as well as the eyepiece, it looks a lot like Garrus. And all of these put together, being the Raloi, the Angara, and a Turian that looks like Garrus, as well as Hanar, Krogan, Salarians, Volus, Batarians, Humans, and all the rest of it that you can see in this nightclub, it puts the timeline very much into question once again. Next up we have potential evidence for the game taking place in the far future, but these aren't from 2023, but rather from the teaser trailer all the way back from the Game Awards in 2020. Here we see Liara, and it kind of looks like, to me at least, she has wrinkles and is wearing a completely new outfit, but this is subject to personal view in terms of her age. We can also see her walking on an unknown planet with destroyed reapers covered in snow, and then finding some N7 armour under the snow itself and the ice. Looking at this new character in both the trailer and the artwork from N7 Day 2023, this N7 piece that Liara picks up doesn't seem to be from this brand new armour set, but seems to be from a very old helmet piece from the original trilogy. We also have evidence that some new characters in the background, uh, you know, of the shot where it sort of pans to Liara's face, we can see some brand new characters in the background, as well as seeing some characters walking on the Geth Crater poster from N7 Day 2021. Surely, wouldn't Liara prefer to be with the Normandy crew if this was taking place right after Mass Effect 3? Maybe if this was set in the far future, she finds herself a new crew, and maybe Liara finds herself entangled with this new N7 character. Again, we'll have to wait and see. Next up we have the recent teasers that I've talked about from Mass Effect Andromeda, so not only do we have the distress signal as well as the year 2819 that I talked about earlier, but we have some more teasers from Bioware themselves. 
Firstly, as mentioned before on the channel several, several, several times, we can hear Godspeed Pathfinder, which is taken directly from Mass Effect Andromeda in terms of audio, when you first fly off in the Tempest during the main single player campaign. And you can hear this in the 2020 reveal trailer. And we see both the Milky Way Galaxy as well as the Andromeda Galaxy in cutaway shots earlier in the teaser reveal trailer from 2020 as well. Plus there's the fact that multiple Bioware devs working on the next Mass Effect game have already confirmed that they're playing Mass Effect Andromeda as well as the original trilogy for referencing, as well as the fact that Andromeda, all of these teasers that have been through all the end 7 days as well as the trailer are there for a reason. So in Mass Effect 5 or whatever the next game is going to be called, could we be playing as a brand new protagonist in the future or could we be playing in both the Milky Way Galaxy as well as Andromeda in separate timelines or in the same timeline? Again we'll have to wait and see, it's all very confusing. Another bit of evidence we have so far was from N7 Day 2022's secret transmission, showing some scrambled audio from Liara and some unknown characters. The transmission's already really cool in of itself and I've been looking back and trying to comb through it for essentially a year and a bit to see if we found anything we've missed and if you look in the bottom left corner at a better high quality version of the video you can make out some text and numbers. Again this isn't new news, I've covered this on the channel several times but if you look this is a log date of when the footage of the transmission is being seemingly recorded and you can see that the log file date reads as the following. 11 underscore 7 underscore 90 which is then followed by some more numbers that are randomly changing throughout. Now a lot of viewers in my comment sections have pointed out that this could potentially be a year in terms of 2190. Now this is very interesting and it's a very interesting year specifically because this would place this transmission recording four to five years after the events of the Reaper War in Mass Effect 3. Now if you look at the numbers the 11 and the 7 potentially mean N7 day rather than being, you know, November 7th. But the 90 could mean the actual year being 2190, although this isn't confirmed in any way by Bioware as of writing this. Now this date could mean a lot of things and it could make a lot of Mass Effect fans happy as this would mean a potential return of the Milky Way Galaxy which in turn means Commander Shepard, the old squad mates, the Normandy because this would be set very close to Mass Effect 2 and 3. This then opens the rabbit hole of the game being set potentially 4 to 10 years after Mass Effect 3 because I feel like that is an acceptable time frame if they wanted to do a, essentially a de facto Mass Effect 4. Then which characters could return as by their Bioware then seem have a very difficult task of writing a new story to fit five possible endings being the destroy ending, perfect destroy ending, refusal, control and synthesis and all of the optional storylines that house within where certain characters could have died optionally depending on your playthrough, personal romances and Bioware now have seemingly an incredible task on their hands and a massive hole to ride themselves out of which is going to be very interesting to see where they go from here. Another piece of evidence in terms of a time period is that at the end of Mass Effect 3 we see the Stargazer talking to a child and the child is asking to hear another story about Commander Shepard. They basically want to hear another story from the Shepard. Before they go back the Stargazer says the following and I'm going to show the clip here. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. 
It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Lastly, we have the fact that we have two new vehicles that have been shown off in posters and concept art for the game as well as in the reveal trailer, and possibly even in the background of the N7 Day 2023 uh, actual video, if you look at the shot of the character walking away, this kind of looks like the new XTB8 Mudskipper that we've seen, as well as we've also seen the SFX, we've had it teased in the N7 Day 2022 poster, but we've actually had it fully shown off to us in the N7 Day 2021 poster. And if the next game is set 4-10 to 10 years after the original trilogy's ending, then wouldn't we be seeing the Normandy SR2 and the normal shuttles that we're used to seeing instead? Well again this is a question that only Bioware currently know the answers to. Anyway, that's all the evidence we have so far regarding the next game time period as well as setting. For more Mass Effect content, don't forget to stay focused on the channel and tell me in the comments below, do you think the game will be set just after the original trilogy? Do you think it will be set after Andromeda? Because obviously we've had a lot of new evidence pointing us towards Andromeda and I've also made a recent video covering that in more detail if you guys want to go watch that. And yeah, it's just it's just going to be an interesting one because I think if it is set in the future, I think it is going to possibly be 634 years plus. I think we're going to be looking at maybe like a year set after Andromeda if that is the case. Either that or we could be seeing a game set sort of 10 to 15 years or very shortly like a year or maybe even like six months after the original trilogy. I think Bioware could do one of the two. Either that or I, I talked about this recently as well. If Bioware did a brand new game where you had a sort of split campaign where you're sort of jumping from two different time periods where half of the game is set in the Milky Way during basically straight after Mass Effect 3 and the other half is set after Andromeda and sort of the two intermingle in terms of story content somehow but I'm not talking about time travel I'm talking about they're set in two different time periods and again a lot of the stuff they do match it matches up somehow I, I think the closest example I can think of this in my head is sort of how Assassin's Creed Revelations handled that, that storyline with the obviously different time periods. Anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching and for more Mass Effect content, stay glued to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!